So today's lesson, we're looking at finding the area and the surface area of rectangular solids. Uh, so most um, referred to as 3D shapes. So we have here um, the shape of a cuboid. Um, and our keywords that we're going to be looking at today is obviously finding the volume, which is sometimes used or asked about capacity. Uh, and I need us to recognize what is the face, what is the urge, what is the vertex of this cuboid. So the volume of this shape is actually, if I was to fill this section here with water and fill it up. Um, so when I would be talking about volume in that sense, it would be different to area because it would be uh, millimeters cubed or meters cubed. Um, or whatever the case may be, whatever the units are. Now, looking at this cuboid here, we're given a length, a breadth. Now, sometimes we might use another word for breadth. We might use width, uh, which is the same thing, and height. Um, now, these sections here, okay, so if I was to colour this section here in red, that section there is called a face. Now with a cuboid, we would have a face on the front and back, a face on the top and bottom, and a face on either side. So there would be eight faces on that cuboid. Now, uh, this section here, where I'm drawing this black line, is called an edge. And here is called an edge as well. And the point where they meet, we've met it before, but just in case we're not sure, that's called a vertex. Okay, so uh, where two lines uh, are meeting or where two edges are meeting. Now, what comes what in a lot, in to, a lot play to play in this, in this um, uh, with regards to cuboids, cuboids is nets. nets. And, nets and nets is if I was, I was to flatten, flatten this, this down, down and draw, and draw out a shape, shape, what would it look, would like? It look like? So we're going, so to, we're going to, talk to talk a little bit more, more about that about later on in the lesson. So let's have a look at example one here. It says, find in volume or find the volume in litres. Uh, the surface area, so in litres, uh, we would have centimetres cubed. Uh, and surface area, we would have centimetres squared off the cuboid shown below. So your volume of a cuboid is actually a very easy formula and it's length by width by height. So here I would have 40, sorry, so I'll do it properly. So the length is 70 by the width, which is 20 by the height which is 40 and if I was to calculate all of that I would get 56 centimeters cubed. Now the question didn't ask me to find centimeters cubed naturally when I do length by width by height that's what I find. The question asked me to find it in liters so there is a, something very important we need to remember here. 1000 centimeters cubed equals one liter OK, so I know that I'm after getting 56,000 centimetres cubed. So what is that in litres? I'm going to divide that by 1,000 and I'm going to get that that is 56 litres. So that is the first part of that question. The second part of that question asks me to find the surface area. Now, so remember volume is if I was filling this shape up to the very top. Surface area is if I was painting this shape. Now. A lot of the time uh, with these type of shapes, we have to use nets to help us solve. So we're going to do that, but I want to show you, I suppose, a common mistake people will make. So lots of people will look at this shape here and they will see that there are three different, I suppose, um, three different uh, lengths with regards to this shape, okay? Uh, but it's important to understand that if there are three different lengths, or sorry, three different measurements, so length by width by height, then there are going to be different shapes within this, okay? So if I look at this shape here, this bottom shape here, it has a length of 70 and a height here of 40, okay? So when I do that, I have two 70 multiplied by 40. Do you see that? Because I have this one here at the front, this face at the front, and then obviously the face at the back. Plus this one here, I have a face here um, which has, uh, we can say, a width 
of 20 and again height of 40 and I have two of those I have one on this side and I have one on that side there so that's going to be plus 2 times 20 by 40 and then I've got the top one up here so the top one has well I know that this length here is 70 so it's got 70 and this length here well I know from down here is 20 so it's going to be 20 and remember I have one on the top here and one on the bottom there so it's going to be plus 2 times 70 by 20 okay so we're doing length by width length by width because they're essentially all rectangles so I know that there's never any issue with finding the surface area but sometimes there is an issue with finding the nets and a lot of the time you know a question similar to this came up on the junior cert mock there this year actually and a lot of the time people didn't show the different um the different cases so we're going to do the net as well today the easy thing for me to do with the net is to always start off on the very bottom. So the bottom piece there, the piece that's touching the ground. And that would be, in this case, 70 by 20. So I'm going to have that there, 70 by 20. Now I'm going to flip out all of these ones to the side. So on the side of it then here. So on the side of this one here now I have a 20 by 40 so it's really important that you can show that you know this is a different shape okay it's not as long as this one here so if I have one to this side I'm going to have one to this side here as well Oops, get rid of that there and I get rid of that little bit there now so I have gotten the bottom piece and these two side pieces the next piece I'm going to get is this piece to the front I'm going to flip that down and that's going to be 70 by 40 okay so you can see this is a 70 by 20 this is a 20 by 40 and a 20 by 40 here and this is a new shape this is a 70 by 40 okay so you can see it's the same length as this one up here but much wider now, so I've done the bottom one, I've done the two sides, I've done this one here. The next one I'm going to do is this one on top here, which is 70 by 20. So it's going to be connected to down here. So it's going to be very similar to the one that I've drawn earlier on at the very start. And I have my 70 by 20 marked in. So I know that this uh, cuboid, if it's a full on cuboid, if it's a completely closed box, it should have six sides. So let's give a quick check. I have a 20 by 40 and a 20 by 40. I have a 70 by 20 and a 70 by 20 and I have a 70 by 40 which represented this front face here so I still need one of those at the back so I'm going to draw that 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 down here at the bottom and this is what my net should look like so super important when you're drawing a net that you know we have this you know this need to make everything the same and make it look you know what what we think that they should all be the same but remember that if there are three different if there's a different length by a different width by a different height then there are three different shapes so this is my first shape the one I started off with so I have two of those this is my second shape I have two of those and this is my third shape so to just be really conscious when we're drawing nets now there's great animations on YouTube which is showing these flipping opened and flipping closed. So going back to the final answer of that question, the answer for the surface area, um, we had to find, uh, so you add the area of the two of these, two of these, two of these together. And your answer should be 1000 centimetres squared. Okay, example two says the net of an open rectangular box is shown, find the volume of the surface area. So an open rectangular box means that it has no lid or nothing on top. So you'll see when we look at the faces here, uh, we've only got five. So the if, if I was to flip all this up and I had a, a nice, I suppose, 3D shape, I would have something like this here. Uh, and volume actually isn't going to be affected because we're still filling this up to the very top and even though there's no lid on that we can still fill it up to the very top so my volume remains the same it's length by width by height uh, make sure all your units are the same which they are in this case so it's 12 by 7 by 5 and then our final answer is 420 centimeters cubed remember volume okay 
The next one then is the surface area. So the surface area is where we find the area of each face. So if it's given to it like this, we might have to draw our net and that's what the last example was. But they've been nice to us here, they've given us the net. So we just need to find the area of each section here. So this one here is 12 by, and we're told it here, it's 12 by five. So that's going to be 60 centimeters squared. And this one is 60 centimeters squared because we have two of those. Here we have seven by five, we have two of those. So 35 centimeters squared by 35 centimeters squared. And then in the center here, what have we got? We've got 12 uh, is the base here. And then we have seven here. So 12 sevens are 84 centimeters squared. And then to find the surface area, we just add up all of those. So this time it's only gonna be five faces. So just roughly in my head, I'm getting 274 centimetres squared. The surface area and the volume of a shape leaving out um, one of the faces. Okay, well, hopefully this, this um, shape here will be quite familiar to you. And if it's not, um, this shape here is in the shape of a Toblerone bar, but it is actually a prism. So volume of a prism, we have a special... Um, section of it or a special formula of it and is area of the base by length but base isn't necessarily what you think it is the base is actually this triangle okay so you find the area of that triangle and we know how to find the area of triangle so it's base times perpendicular height all over two and to find the volume of this it's the base multiplied by the length so just be careful that in the area of a prism the base is actually this triangular section so this brings us to example number three, where it says find the volume and the surface area of the volume, volume prism. So we can see here that we actually have a cuboid here. OK, so that blue section there is just a cuboid. Uh, and then up here we have the prism. So I would find the area of the cuboid first uh, and then I would find the area of the prism and then I would add them both together. So let's have a look here. Looking at my cuboid, I am given the three dimensions of it. So I'm given length is nine meters. I'm given seven is the height and then width is eight. So for volume of the cuboid, I have length, which is nine by width, which is eight by height, which is seven. And it doesn't matter. So I'm getting 504. Uh, meters cubed for the volume of the cuboid. Now up here we've got the prism, okay? So remember I said it's base times length. So we do know what the length is in this case. We know it's nine meters. Uh, but the base is the area of this triangle. Now, area of a triangle, remember it's base times perpendicular height all over two. So the base here we know is going to be eight. The perpendicular height, so remember that must create a 90 degree angle. Well, we are told that from the top to the bottom is 10 and we know from here to here is seven, which means that this section here is going to be three. So now I can find my base, which is eight times perpendicular height, which is three all over two, which is going to give me 12 meters squared. So that's my area. And then I'm gonna multiply that by nine. So 12 multiplied by nine, 108 meters cubed because we now have the area uh, and then I can just add these two together so the area of the prism and the area of the volume of the cuboid to get my total answer so it should give me 612 meters cubed the next part of this question asks for the surface area so that is super important that we draw our net I want you to have a go at drawing the net now what do you think that would look like um, remember about counting the faces and making sure your net is of different sizes. When it comes to the net of the prism, remember that there are two sides here, two sides here, but there isn't a base, or sorry, I know that that's what we're calling the base. There isn't a bottom of the prism. So just be conscious there that we have one, two, three, four, four faces with the prism. And then we have one, two, three, four, five bases with the faces with the cuboid. So four and five, you should have nine all together, your shape should look like. Okay, so lucky, um, 
hopefully you have figured this out and that you've gotten the right amount of faces. So we said there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine faces, what we did say there would be. So just make sure that you're checking each one of those. Now, if there was a reason that we needed to figure out what this length was, okay, we haven't actually been told that. We know that this here is eight and this here is three. Don't forget that our Pythagoras theorem works perfectly here and we could um, figure that out that then obviously if this whole bottom here was eight, this bit here would be four and we could find that if we needed to. So, you know, all of the geometry that we've done will be quite important here. So when you add up the area of each one of those shapes, hopefully you got 424 meters squared. Okay, so the learning check for today then is this question here and this question here. Uh, I'm going to create an assignment where I want you to submit your work as well so I can give you um, notes back. Just one thing on when you're submitting, try and if you're if you're submitting and it goes over a double page, just you know pull out the cop or pull out the screen so that I can see both pages because I think people are sending two individual shots of each page and for some reason just only one is coming through. So if you could have um, both pages together on the screenshot that gives me the best oversight okay hope everybody is well